I'm Christine, and I live full-time in my 2012 Ford Transit Connect van. Today I'm exploring Turpon Springs, which is a city on the west coast of Florida. Turpon Springs is considered the sea sponge capital of the world. It also has the distinction of having the highest concentration of Greek American citizens of any U.S. city. So come along with me today to explore Tarpon Springs while we eat some delicious Greek food and explore the sponge docks. drove through town just to check it out and there were a lot of parking spots available that ranged between five and ten dollars for the day but there's a park just outside of town called Tarpon Springs Splash Park it has a water park for the kids a dog park for your puppy and free parking if you're willing to walk a little bit which I am so I've got the van parked and locked up so I'm gonna head to town I saw several signs advertising Greek coffee with pastries and I couldn't think of a better way to start the day. The Taste of Greece Cafe looked like the perfect place to order from. What's the difference between a Greek coffee and a regular coffee? Greek coffee is Turkish coffee, it's ground coffee, it's Turkey. filter. So when you're drinking, you have to blow up, and the ground going down, so you have to okay. take one sip all the time. One sip. Okay, awesome. I'd like a small one of those. And then I was looking for the Greek dessert. It's like a custard. It starts with a G. They call it uh, Greek chocolate mousse. Oh, wow, that's big. Okay, we'll do the Greek chocolate mousse, <laughs> if that's what you recommend. <laughs> So I ended up at Taste of Greece Cafe. I wanted to try a Greek coffee, which as I understand it is like Turkish coffee. The lady I ordered from had a thick accent and she told me how to drink it, but I'm not exactly sure exactly what she said. But I think she said to let the grounds settle so there must be grounds in it. She said to take a little sip and then wait. So I'm gonna take a little sip and then wait. Mmm, it's like good espresso. But it's so cute and it's so little. This looks very decadent for breakfast, but, you know, when in Greece or Tarpon Springs. <laughs> okay, first bite. Ooh. Look at that. Mmm. She's right. It does make me happy. Wow, it's got the consistency of, like, a tiramisu, like, very moist, very rich very chocolatey. If you like chocolate, this is for you, obviously. <laughs> Looks very sweet. I'm gonna get a little strawberry. Mm. It's really good with the strawberry. It goes great with the Greek coffee. The Gulf waters off of the west coast of Florida, just north of Tampa Bay, comprise one of the few areas of the world where the species of natural sponges suitable for commercial use are found. The natural sponge industry in Tarpon Springs dates from about 1890, when John K. Cheney launched his first sponge fishing boat. Sponges were retrieved by hooking until the technique of diving for sponges was introduced in 1905 by John Kukorkis, a recent immigrant from Greece where the practice of sponge diving was common. Within a few years, many Greeks had arrived in the area to work in the sponging industry. Tarpon Springs has continued to grow and thrive since then. The sea sponge is an aquatic animal. It clings to a hard object such as a rock or coral. Through a system of chambers, it ingests the plankton on which it lives. Every two months, the growing sponge increases in diameter by a half an inch. The sponge is coated in a dark elastic skin. The skin has openings through which the sponge breathes. So the natural sponges we use are actually the skeletons of aquatic animals. 
Everywhere you look, there is larger-than-life art and intricate statues. The area has no shortage of unique photo apps spread all over downtown. There are a ton of interesting shops with everything from souvenirs to soap and sponges to cigars. There were so many unique and intriguing restaurant choices. I often prefer the smaller restaurants off the beaten path, and Chalkis Mediterranean foods caught my attention. Okay, Joey, so what's the sandwich that you recommended? It's uh, mortadella, prosciutto, pizza, um, tzatziki, sun dried tomatoes, olives, and garlic chili. These are fresh olives I get from Greece. All right, these are gonna go in your sandwich. Excellent, <laughs> thank you. All right, you should that? Yes. Is that tzatziki sauce? Okay, great. Yes, very much so. You make it in-house. What are the ingredients? And what kind of cheese did you say that was? So this one is Cassini. Cassini is made from Chifo. Okay. It melts really nicely. It's a hard cheese. Almost like a Romano or Parmigiana. Okay. Except it's a little softer and it melts better. What was the name of the sandwich again? What should we call it? <laughs> you don't have a name yet? <laughs> My specialty is what I call it. Okay, <laughs> Joey's specialty sandwich. Thank you so much. I'm here at Chalkis Mediterranean Foods. I'm so glad I stumbled across this place. The owner, Joey, was so hospitable and showed me around and gave me some great food recommendations. He said his favorite Greek drink is this Epsa soda. He said the sour cherry is a great flavor, so let's find out. Mmm, it's really refreshing. It tastes like natural cherry. I was expecting the artificial weird cherry that drinks are usually flavored with, but this tastes like actual natural cherry. And it's not too sweet. And it's not really sour at all. There is 32 grams of sugar, so I guess it is sweet, but it's not overpowering. It's very good, it's very refreshing. Next is Joey's specialty sandwich. I cannot believe this was only $6 with all the fresh ingredients that he used and loving care that he crafted it with. It smells amazing. The bread's perfectly toasted. It has an Italian, it looks like an Italian seasoning on it. It's smothered in tzatziki sauce. We have fresh tomato, fresh cucumber, fresh kalamata black olives, prosciutto, mortadella. I don't remember the name of the cheese, but it's a new one and I am a cheese fan. So I'm gonna look it up and put it in the description, but I'm excited to try it. It's perfectly warm and toasty. It smells like fresh bread. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow, that is amazing. I think that there is also sun-dried tomatoes in there. This is so flavorful. The tzatziki sauce with the tomatoes and the fresh cucumber is a perfect pairing. The black olives add a little bit of tanginess. Mm. <laughs> I just got an olive and cheese bite. So good. You guys, come to Tarpon Springs. Go to Chalkis Mediterranean Market and get yourself a Joey Specialty Greek Sandwich. You will not be disappointed. Another must-see stop in town is St. Michael's Shrine. This is a sacred space where believers have reported miracles taking place for decades now. 
It was built more than 80 years ago to fulfill the promise an ill eight-year-old boy made to the Archangel Michael after the saint saved his life. To this day, people visit the shrine to pray and light a candle. And there are testimonies of true miracles which have happened there. I had my heart set on eating a spinach pie, but all the shops I had been in were sold out for the day. Thankfully, the Greek gods finally smiled upon me at Halki Market. I'm taking a break at A.L. Anderson Park, about 10 minutes away from downtown to eat my spinach pie. I was really hoping to find one of these today. I actually had to go to several bakeries because they were sold out. Look at the size of this for $3. I love Greek food. Mmm. Mmm, so flaky. The dough tastes so good. It's somehow a little sweet and savory at the same time. I love spinach pie and this is by far the best one I've ever had. The crust is crispy and crunchy on the outside but soft and doughy on the inside. The spinach and the cheese are seasoned perfectly. I'm in love with this. Mm. I was really impressed with Tarpon Springs. It feels like you're transported to Greece. There's Greek music playing through the streets. There's all kinds of Greek restaurants. I didn't want to tape any of the people here, but there's old guys smoking cigars and chit-chatting and old ladies yelling and children saying opa. Like you really feel like you're kind of in Greece. It was super fun. I kind of expected it to be all touristy, which of course there is that stuff and that's fun too, but there really is a lot of interesting Greek culture here. So I would definitely recommend stopping by if you're on this side of Florida. Well, that's it for today's video. Thank you for coming along with me. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. I'll see you next time.